Hello everyone, it's James in Japan. You're looking at how I choose my Lotto 6 numbers. You are going to open Notepad on the PC and you're going to input the last 20 winning draws, starting with the most recent on top. For single digits, you need to write zero, like this, 040302, okay? Then you're going to copy, well, select, then copy. Then you're going to open a free software, just Google it, it's called Chuck's or Chuck's Ball Buster. Here is the website, alotterynumberpicker.com. Once there, select double digit balls. Select a lottery game. Scroll down until you find six balls from 43, right, lotto six. Okay, paste your numbers here. It'll be scrambled like this. Then click here to begin analysis. You should be getting this kind of window. Six balls from 43, drawing 20 being most recent, okay? You must see 20. This is the most recent one. You're going to need to print this out, this table and this table. So you wanna print this out Okay, the next thing, if you want, which I recommend, buying a software called Advantage Plus. Okay, I forget how much it costs. It's called Smart Luck Advantage Plus. If you get this software, click on this, Start Advantage Plus. Okay, and then you're going to select one. And then it lists a whole bunch of lotteries. I want Japan Lotto. So I'm going to enter that. And I'm going to select the number three. Then I'm going to change the range, F3. Okay. The last game was 1526. So I want 20 draws before that. So 1506. 1506. Okay, that is the last 20 draws. Enter it. You should see something like this 1506 to 1526, right? 1526 minus 1506 is 20 draws. Okay, you want to copy this. Okay, F2. Then you should be getting something like this. Sorry about this. It's all scribbled. I've been working on my Lotto 6 prediction. This is from Chuck's Lottery. And this is from Advantage Plus. You're looking at my lottery homework. <laughs> I've got about 20 of these sheets, maybe more. You don't need that many, but it's up to you. I just keep it for a reference. What you really need is the last three winning draws. Okay, let's look at Thursday, October 15th, for example. I can't promise you that you're going to win, but I'm pretty certain that you'll get at least two numbers. This is going to be hard to explain. So the last winning draw was on October 15th. The winning numbers were 4, 17, 19, 21, 39, 41, bonus number 36. Okay, don't, don't worry about that. This is what I do. I would number these in order. So 15 being the highest, that would be number one. Okay, next is number nine, that would be two and so on, okay? The medium is 2.79 because it tells you over here, average occurrence, that's my understanding okay it's up to you if you want to believe me or not okay um these are tiers tiers are levels t-i-e-r-s this is quite complicated to explain it's my first attempt to explain this here you see a series of arrows triangles and squares okay let's look at arrows going down so let's look at 
One, two, three. Tier number three, two X. Number nine, there's no square box. It's just an arrow. So that means it came from tier four, three X. So why did it come down? So I would have to go back to October 8th or before that. So let's look at October 8th straw. That was on tier four, three X. And that was a square box with a three X. So it just came down on October 12th. Then I would look down here. Look down here. You see that I drew a square around number nine because I thought it was most likely to hit, but I was wrong. So that's the way I would do that. I would look at the previous drawing to see where it was at and how many times. Oh, do you see that three X above it? That tells you it's been sitting here on this fourth tier, three X, three times. If you want to see where it was before that, you have to go back one, this is October 4th, October 1st, September 28th, see here it's a triangle, and go all the way back to Thursday, September 17th, it was up here on this fifth tier, one, two, three, four, five, four X. So it traveled down, down to two X, which is tier number three, and that is the average occurrence, 2.79. So this is my thinking. I think I'm just going to talk about arrows going down without a box in this video. So for today's draw, this is what I've got for numbers going down with arrows. Number 10 has an arrow going down on the first tier, zero X. And in the last draw, that is October 15th, it was sitting on the second tier at 1x and how many times? Two times. I know this from previous drawings. I've been counting. So it's been sitting there for, for two times. It finally went down for October 19th here. And I look down and I see that it came down. If I compare it over here, it's been sitting over here at 20. It's been sitting here at uh, 20G. And if you look back, and if you were tracking this number, you would notice that it's been sitting there maybe recently. See, it just came down. So that number 10 is most likely to hit in my opinion. Okay, so I would put that as a choice, number 10. That's for arrows. Okay, let's look at another arrow. Um, let's look at number 12 on tier three, 2X. Why did it come down? So if I go back to October 15th, where was it at? It was sitting here at tier four, three X. And for two times, and there's an arrow pointing up in this box, which means to me, it's been facing up four times plus two more times. So that is a total of six times, but I just do that. Maybe I'll explain that to you another time. It's been sitting here on tier four above 2.79. And then it finally dropped to tier three on two X. So I looked down this list. Where is 12? Here. It moved down. So did number 10. So if I look over here, where was 12? It was sitting here and number 19 hit. So it's pretty close to a hot number, number 19, because number 19 hit. All right, it hit on October 15th. So my thinking is number 12 
might hit. So I'm going to choose number 12. Yep, number 12 sounds good. And in fact, for this third tier, 2x, it has 13, 13 numbers. And that is the average occurrence. So, I think number 12 will hit. Okay, looking at 28 and 35, where did 28 and 35 come from? From 3x, from tier 4, for sure. Going back to October 15th, looking at tier 4, 3x, 28 came... Yep, 28 was sitting facing upward with one arrow. And then it flipped. So, it flipped. Was it touching any number? Well, let's see. Was it touching any number? It touched number 21 from October 15th. So that's my thinking. 28 might hit. It's right next to number 21, a hot number. 28 might hit. Okay, number 35. Where was number 35? That was on tier 4, 3x, on October 15th. And it had a triangle with an arrow down. I'll have to explain that to you some other time. So where was it? It was here. And I'll have to explain these arrows to you another time. So if I look at today's October 19th draw, number 35, no more arrows here. So that is possible. It might hit. It might hit, yep. And it is sitting on this average occurrence with a one being the most numbers. Okay, so that is my thinking in terms of the arrows. If it's complicated for you, I understand. Okay, so if you have any questions about the arrows, let me know. Thanks for watching and we'll see you again. Bye.